Dear Terex community, welcome to this weekly news and crypto market update video provided by Terex and this is what we're going to talk about today. First of all, we will talk about the gold and as well the stock market saw the biggest loss in 2013 and that Texas is the best place for mining. We will hit over to that sports and blockchain are a good match and why should Phoenix slams SEC for Bitcoin ETF rejection. Last but not least, we will take a look on the crypto market update when analyzing Bitcoin and Ethereum. When we're taking a look on the gold price within the last seven days, we can see that gold saw a huge loss. And may you know that gold as well as Bitcoin performed very, very good within the last year. And how you can see in this chart, gold just went upwards with small dips from year to date. But right now we saw a huge loss, a huge sell off in gold and gold dropped nearly one hundred and fifty dollars within a day and this is of course a huge loss in gold and as well it lost around nine percent in one week which is the biggest loss since 2013 and what you as well can see is that bitcoin lost a lot that stock markets went down a lot and so that the coronavirus seems to having effect on the whole market and of course that showing us as well that the crypto market is more and more ruled and run by institutional investors due to they just put all the money out of the market as the panic of the coronavirus spread around the world and here we can see that this is quite good when bitcoin as well as gold and the stock markets can rest a little can come down a little because this always gives us new and good entry points from peter teal backed startup said that Texas is the best place to mine Bitcoin and here we can see that Lay1, this is an US based Bitcoin mining company, wants to have 30% of Bitcoin's hash power by 2020 and they build it a huge mining farm in Texas for this. So in Western Texas now they've got multiple 2.5 megawatt container rigs online. This is quite huge and Texas is very, very independent due to it's producing a lot of wind power and so can give cheap electricity to companies. And this of course is quite good, but Texas is quite hot in the summer times and mining containers always needs quite a cold place to work very, very profitable. And so they are thinking about that they want to pause the mining during summer and then starting over when the weather is cool again. But all in all, this is showing that mining is still a way to go and that companies are still investing huge in mining to you know the Bitcoin AG wants to construct the largest Bitcoin mining facility in the world as well in Texas. So what we can see over here, there are two huge companies that are investing in mining rigs in Texas. And this, of course, can affect the market and have a positive outcome very soon. It seems that the blockchain and sports world are quite a good match and their use cases climbing in 2020. And what we can see is that the UEFA European Championship in 2020 will release a ticketing app on blockchain basis. So basically you don't need any paper. You don't need to go for your tickets. You just can use your mobile phone for ticketing and this worldwide or for the whole European countries that are participating in this UEFA European Championship. And this is quite huge. Do you? Soccer or football is the most popular sport in the Western world and this of course can have a very positive effect too. And what we can see is that there is a blockchain powered fan engagement platform Socios and they are working together with FC Barcelona, Juventus Serene, Paris Saint-Germain, Galatasaray, Atletico Madrid and AS Roma and this as well is showing that the people can buy fan stuff and videos and co with tokens which the teams can create on this platform so here we have a real use case to bring the blockchain and tokens into the world why should phoenix slimes sec for bitcoin etf rejection and as well note we saw is that the sec rejected their bitcoin etfs again and 
The firm says that they made every effort to get the SEC's attention on this important issue, including undertaking extensive analysis that was made available to the SEC staff, submitting key data and offering to provide additional information to facilitate the listing of a much needed regulated Bitcoin related ETP in the United States. But the SEC rejected it again. And what we can see over here is that the SEC is always rejecting Bitcoin ETFs over and over again. And it that seems that the SEC don't want to have any financial product related to Bitcoin. And this as well, we can see over here, Mrs. Pierce is uh, crypt known as Crypto Mom in the cryptocurrency community and working together with the SEC that that this line of disapproval leads me to conclude that this commission is unwilling to approve the listing of any product that will provide access to the market for Bitcoin and that no filling will meet the ever shifting standard that this commercial commission insists on applying to Bitcoin related products. So basically here we can see that they are saying that the SEC really don't want to have any Bitcoin related financial product. And this of course is quite sad for the market. Let us take a look on the last week Bitcoin performed in the one hour chart. And what we can see over here is that we're having a huge resistance build at near 10,000. So we started this week near 10,000. We tested twice the 9,990 levels before we broke down. And in Bitcoin, we built a small support over a few hours over and over again, which then always broke down afterwards. So we just went down like a stair and not like just like sharp like in other dips. But what we as well can see is that here we saw multiple sell offs, maybe due to there was this coronavirus panic over and over again. And we saw that the market dipped within a few days and Bitcoin around 15%. So basically last week Bitcoin lost around 15% in price value and if we're taking the peak it was nearly 15.5%. And what we saw over here is that all the indicators and the line that helped us to may have a bounce back scenario did not work. So when we can see that we broke the Bollinger Bands over and over again and there was no rebound we saw that the RSI was super low, was always oversold and had no huge effect and rebounds until we found a final support. And now we have a final support built at around 8,450 levels, which we tested once and now the second time and then finally lifted a little upwards. So over here we can see that we lost a lot within the last week, but as well we have to say that there was a huge recession in the stock market and as well in gold how you know and that we still are very profitable when we take a look on the year we started this year over here around 6900 and are now hanging around 8700 and when we're taking a look on this we can easily see that the market is still more than 25 percent upwards even if we dropped sharply now within the last week. And how I said, what you can see over here is that you really just can see that the indicators did not work last week and so you just needed to stay out of the market due to the only thing you could do over here is shorting the market from time to time. Now we finally seeming to find a good support to lift up and then may to retest the local high, which we're seeing over here at around 8,920 to then may breaking the 9000 line good for the overall market situation and the market feeling for the community the altcoin market was quite different like ethereum had a local high over here at around 274 dollars and then just broke down and what you can see there's no real support build it like on bitcoin until we have finally found this first support over here around 216 and a local low at around 212. So over here we can see that the Ethereum lost more than Bitcoin from top to low. It was nearly 23% within a week. And what you as well can see there is no real support build in this downtrend. We now finally have support build around 216 and 212 dollars, which seems to working out very very good. And now the market lifting up. We're having a local high around 230. 36 
which seems to be the first resistance when we want to see a positive outcome on this market. But what we as well can see is always when we bounce a little, we saw lower local highs. And this you can see if we're having this trend line over here. So the local highs always were lower than the previous and as well what you can see we just broke down as we touched this line so if you're pessimistic in this market you could easily think that we're having still a downtrend which would lead us to the fact that we would have a next downtrend back to this support line until we may lifting up again and that this can be a triangle scenario at around 212 levels at the support levels for having then a decision if the market is breaking down or lifting up again but this of course would be the bearish scenario all in all keep safe in this market we saw a huge breakdown where no indicators really work so we just stayed out and waited for good ways to return into the market hope you like this video if you do so i would love it if you could like share or comment this video and we will hear us next time when it comes to weekly news and crypto market update provided by t -Rox.